Our next Hall of Fame nominee, Dr. Connie Mitchell, attributes her success to growing up in a stable home, which allowed her to evolve as she identified new interests, abilities, and opportunities. Connie was born while her dad, Jerry Mitchell, was a student at Long Beach City College. Jerry is a Hall of Champions basketball and baseball honoree who coached and taught English at Lakewood and Wilson High Schools. Her mother, Dorothy Mitchell, also attended LBCC and later became an LBCC career counselor and teacher. Connie's parents arranged for her to join Saturday Spanish classes at age five, which years later contributed to her receiving the National Hispania Medal for her achievement in the language. She loved being a big sister to Christy, Carol, and Carrie, and treasures memories of family water ski vacations on the Colorado River, as well as winning on the game show Family Feud. At Marshall Junior High in Long Beach, Connie was a self-described nerd by being on the math team, playing flute in band and orchestra, and serving as president of the Scholarship Society. At Millican High School, Connie joined the drill team and was active in campus clubs. In her junior year, she was selected to be an exchange student in Argentina. She traveled, joined a rock band, witnessed a coup d'etat, and helped at a gaucho roundup. Her year abroad was a life-altering experience, not only because she gained language fluency and cultural insight, but because she appreciated both the diversity and the common connections amongst people all over the world. She returned from Argentina and enrolled at Long Beach City College. She recalls feeling a bit lost in the transition, but the small LAC campus and the great teachers helped her to get grounded again. She supported herself working weekdays as a teaching assistant and weekends as a tour guide on the Queen Mary. Connie fondly remembers poli sci instructor Mark Hannaford and her participation on the speech and debate team. She transferred to Cal State Long Beach, majoring in chemistry and Spanish, and found her life's direction in the field of medicine. Connie attended medical school at Michigan State University. During her clinical rotation in the ER, she discovered she could make decisions quickly and remain level-headed under pressure, so emergency medicine became her choice for specialty training. Connie married fellow med student David Tai right after graduation, but they rarely saw each other for three years as they completed residency training in separate states. After residency, Connie did a fellowship in international health in Costa Rica, helping the country set up an emergency medical system. In 1989, she joined the University of California, Davis, as a faculty member in the Department of Emergency Medicine. In the meantime, she and David managed to see each other enough to become parents of two sons and had a strong partnership as they both juggled careers and family. Vacations were almost always adventures in hiking, skiing, or traveling. David had a big family and annual family reunions are a favorite memory for both of them. And the Mitchell Tye House is famous as the scariest house on Halloween, Connie's favorite holiday. At UC Davis, the emergency room nurses invited Connie to develop a training video about victims of domestic violence. As she gathered information, she discovered a compelling avenue for exploration and a need for improved healthcare intervention. The 1994 video she helped create is still shown today and was the first step to her becoming a nationally recognized expert in the field. She served as director of a statewide forensic training program for health professionals and authored California's clinical guidelines for the care of victims of domestic violence. She is the chief editor of a textbook titled Intimate Partner Violence, a Health-Based Perspective, which won an award for Best Medical Textbook of the Year in 2010. Wanting to learn more about how to prevent violence, she took another detour to obtain a master's degree in public health at UCLA. That led to a position with the California Department of Public Health, and she now serves as the Chief of Health Policy in the new Office of Health Equity. Connie continues to publish on public health issues and remains very engaged at the national level. She has now been married for 30 years to David, an accomplished orthopedic surgeon, and they live in Sacramento. Their son, Mitch, is a UC Santa Cruz graduate in film and digital media, and their other son, Zach, is a senior in construction management at CSU Sacramento. She says that her home has always been a sanctuary that replenishes her on a daily basis and that her sons are her gift to the world. 
For her service as a physician and leader in health policy, the Long Beach City College Board of Trustees and Superintendent President Eloy Ortiz Oakley proudly induct Dr. Connie Mitchell into the 2013 Hall of Fame.